New details on a DUI arrest involving a Tesla driver. Police say the man was asleep behind the wheel at the car's autopilot feature was on. And we just got the suspect's mugshot into the newsroom. He is Alexander Samick, who chairs the planning commission for the city of Los Altos. KPI X5's Len Ramirez on how in this instance the car's technology may have actually saved the man's life. Len? Well, that's right. We know how bad it can be if a driver falls asleep out here on the highway while driving. But in this case, the CHP says the man's car, a Tesla, might have had the autopilot feature on. And that may be what kept the car tracking along in a straight line, even at 70 miles per hour. Now, that technology could be the reason the man is still alive tonight, but it could also be the reason why he fell asleep in the first place. 45-year-old Alexander Samick of Los Altos was the person behind the wheel of the Tesla, but the CHP says the car was driving all by itself. It's great that we have this technology. However, we need to remind people that they need to be responsible. The unusual incident happened on 101 near Whipple Road in Redwood City at 3.30 in the morning. A CHP officer pulled up alongside Samick's Tesla Model S and noticed that he was sleeping while the car was speeding along at 70 miles per hour. The unit came up in front of the vehicle and basically started slowing down. Um, that actually worked, and officers went up to the driver's side and basically started trying to uh, wake up the driver. The CHP says Samick failed a field sobriety test, and he was arrested, handcuffed, and booked into jail on suspicion of DUI. Tesla is not commenting on the story. Oh, there you go. But Tesla drivers are defending the car's technology. This guy, he, he actually saved his life and possibly somebody else's because he had a self-drive vehicle. San Jose real estate broker Joel Weirich is on his second so Tesla again. and showed us how autopilot yeah, works. Hands-free. Hands I'm monitoring. I just, for the record now, I mean, obviously it can always take control, so I'm watching it and paying attention so that we are being safe. The car easily handled the curves and the straights, changing lanes, slowing down and accelerating to keep up with traffic. Drivers really have to pay attention. They really do. Because when it's this convenient where the car is going to do all of these things, um, it's not out of the question for somebody to fall asleep. It really isn't. Now, Mr. Samick is the chair of the Los Altos Planning Commission. He is facing a DUI charge and possibly other charges as well. The CHP is investigating with the car's uh, memory bank and uh, other technology associated with that system to see whether or not he was on autopilot at the time uh, he was pulled over. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.